All right, we're here to talk about the new Stasis Exotic Scout Rifle, the Wicked Implement. Let's talk about how you get it. This is a new secret exotic mission inside of the Deep Dives activity that you can access as long as somebody in your fire team has all three of the broken plates from getting the exotic fish from fishing. You yourself don't need them as long as somebody in your fire team does in order to start it. There's three thrall statues that you have to interact with in the Deep Dives themselves in order to actually access the secret door. You have one in the water before you even jump into the first room you have one in the first room and then another one on your way to the second room then of course once you clear the second one you'll actually be able to go ahead and start the secret mission as the side door will open up make sure to grab the other buff to help you out throughout this before you do go in there now really when you get inside this exotic mission i'm not going to really explain too much how to do it it's pretty straightforward you're going to face two bosses the mechanic for this is basically killing three minotaurs in order to get deadly sharp or deathly sharp times three to do maximum damage to the boss and uh yeah the first one literally just gets folded by his anagis and then for the second boss because he is a tormentor i recommend two briars and a divinity make sure if you're rocking the briars you do have the deeper origins seasonal artifact mod equip along with two other root of nightmares weapons most likely a case's ejection and conditional finality this way, your Briars is going to absolutely fry. Mine only had Reconstruction and Frenzy, and it was doing some pretty, pretty nasty damage. And then once you beat that, and then once you kill this Tormentor boss, you'll be rewarded with the Wicked Implement. Now, what is this going to exactly do is another story. So its main perk, Creeping Attrition, is going to allow you to slow and freeze with precision hits to targets, which is really good against those healthier enemies. It gives this gun built-in overload stunning capabilities. And then precision final blows while creeping attrition is active is going to give you a stasis shard, which is helps feeds into your abilities, which is also pretty cool. That second bit comes from its tithing harvest perk, which is obviously going to be its second trait. So that's basically this gun in a nutshell. Is it any good? Honestly, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's groundbreaking. I think for what it's supposed to do, it does it pretty well. I was rocking this boy in some GMs. Granted, it definitely does promote a bit of a slower play style that is for sure but it's definitely fun on a stasis build and it can really be nice at keeping some enemies at bay or at the bare minimum getting them the fuck off your back this gun being a scout rifle definitely plays more into its strengths because it's definitely easier to land precision hits with a scout rifle especially at ranges over other weapons and luckily because it's an exotic primary that saves it from the trap of being a legendary primary and as far as the catalyst i'm pretty sure it might be bugged or heimgated so we don't quite have it yet that being said i still do think this gun is pretty fun and definitely worth getting the exotic mission itself is honestly really fun as it is timed and it's a little bit chaotic and i definitely feel like the scout rifle itself is worth the reward as if i'm going to use a primary weapon you gotta give me some sort of reason some sort of subclass synergy some sort of uniqueness that's not just a gimmick and luckily being a primary weapon with what is practically just free chill clip then you actually have something going for you and we still haven't seen what this gun's catalyst is granted it could just give the gun 30 reload speed but the door is still open i know some people might not be the biggest fan of 180 scouts or scout rifles in general but i think this gun might be worth your time if you've used this gun let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down below thank you so much for watching consider subscribing you guys be safe out there and we'll see you in the next one